Hi, my name is Carson Lamaster. I'm the librarian at Robot American School, and I'm here today for your lunch and learn to talk to you about why research is fun. Like that kid thinks it is. See? <laughs> so research happens a lot. All day long, we're going through this process of researching. Um, and it looks a little bit like this. So we ask. This is when we're wondering something. That happens a lot to me at least. I think it happens to most everyone all day. And then we explore, we go hunting for the answer to the question or the thing that we were wondering about. Um, and then we share. This is when we find the answer and we drop some knowledge on somebody because we're super excited that we just figured something out. Um, so that process, ask, explore, share, it's happening all day long to people. And it's not part of a project at school and it's not part of something that's scary or hard. It's just something that our very inquisitive and curious minds do. So here are some examples of that non-scary research I was talking about. Hmm, I wonder if it'll rain today. Check the weather app. Honey, grab the umbrella. Ask, explore, share, right? What else was that actor on? Hmm, check on IMDb. Oh yeah, he was on Dexter. Good show. So um, ask, explore, share, right? Why are there so many ladybugs in my house right now? Oh, I'm gonna visit lots of websites. Wow, that's interesting. Now I'm gonna write a blog post about ladybug invasions. I actually don't know why ladybugs invade houses, so um, I would love to read that blog post. <laughs> um, here's another one. I wonder what it was like on the Titanic. Um, reads a book, Titanic, the ultimate guide, and writes a diary for a passenger, like a passenger diary as part of a project for school. It's for school, but it's not that scary. And maybe the teacher gave the kids some choice because that's what that kid was wondering. Um, so, of course, more motivated to do this research. Ask, explore, share. It's not always that simple, of course. I mean, if you're writing like a master's thesis, then your research is going to be a little more involved in that. Um, but it's okay. It's still not hard. It's still that same process. But what happens is that ask, explore, share isn't always so linear. Sometimes it's ask, explore, ask explore, ask, share, explore, <laughs> and it gets a little bit mixed up in there. So um, I've got a couple stories that I'd like to tell you. Um, the Triscuit guy, this is a story about, a, I saw this on Twitter, this guy, um, he was at a party and he saw some Triscuits and he started wondering, why are they called Triscuits? So, um, he did a little bit of digging and couldn't find out why. He even asked Nabisco, you know, going pretty much straight to the source. Um, Nabisco didn't know why they called him Triscuits. Um, so he kept looking, kept wondering, and, um, you know, he was exploring but not finding the answer. So he kept, kept at it and um, eventually found an ad from way back when Triscuit um, was first invented and, and they were making these crackers. And um, the ad stated that the company was cooking these biscuits or these crackers with electricity. Apparently, they were the only con uh, company that was cooking their biscuits like this at that time. So it was like a really big selling point for them. And um, the guy noticed some little lightning bolts also on the Triscuit ad and it just clicked for him. Electricity Triscuit. So he asks Nabisco to confirm with him that that is what happened and that's why they call it um, Triscuit. And they actually did some digging and they found out, yes, I can confirm that that is true. 
Um, and then he put it on Twitter, and shared it, and now I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> so that's kind of the going through that process of ask, explore, share. Um, but he had to do a lot more of the exploring, right? The other story is um, Downton Abbey. So I watch Downton Abbey a lot. It's a good show. Um, but when I'm when I'm watching Downton Abbey, I start to do research. Um, maybe that's because I'm a librarian. I don't know. Um, maybe it's just because people are inquisitive and I think of these questions as I'm watching and I want to find out the answer. So um, one of the things that I thought was, hey, isn't Mr. Carson, wasn't he on um, the 1994 hit movie, Black Beauty? It's a hit to me. And yes, indeed he is. One of the things that I thought of when I was watching Downton Abbey one day is, um, man, Alfred, that kid is tall. How tall is he? So I wanted to obviously know how tall the actor was in real life. So that led me to ask and explore several more times before I had the answer that was satisfying to me. So I, I researched, you know, on IMDb, I went and looked, okay, down Abbey, where's Alfred? Found him, figured out his name was Matt Milne. So I Googled Matt Milne, how tall? And it said that he was 1.93 meters. I don't know if that's because I live in a country that uses the metric system, but I'm American, I don't know. So it's like, oh darn, 1.93 meters, how tall is that? So how many feet? I asked, I actually went on a, I have a conversion app. And so I went on the app and I found out, oh, it's 6.33 feet, but, um, and then I wanted to know like how many feet and how many inches. So I had to convert that. And we come to the part that he is six, four. So pretty tall. Downton Abbey makes me wanna do research. It's not always simple finding the answer, but it's still really rewarding. And I think it's really fun. In order to sum up, we have um, ask, explore, share. This is research. Research is not hard. It's not necessarily something that you're getting graded on. It's not something that someone's forcing you to do. It's cool. It's fun. And I hope that you keep wondering and keep asking.